Hey everybody, welcome back. A real quick one this morning about downloading Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. I'm going to show you a video that I recorded a while ago, and I'm going to talk over the video as I play it. You'll see here at the start of this video, I'm getting 1.43 megabytes per second, and then I turn on my VPN and you'll see what happens. So let's watch this as it plays out. If you're having super slow download speeds in Microsoft Flight Simulator, there are a couple things to do. This is the first one. I happen to use NordVPN. There are obviously many, many options. Use whatever you want. Even try using a free VPN if that is the only option available to you. Now you can see I've got the VPN connected. The speed's going to drop off. And now it's restarting the download process. And you can see I was getting 1.1, 1.2 before. Now I'm getting up to 20. And as I play this video, as I recorded this video originally, I, I recorded the entire download. So this was, I believe, a download of the Sim Update 15 beta. People have various ideas about which country you should connect to, where you should connect your VPN to. I personally, for whatever reason, had luck connecting mine to, I believe it was the Netherlands. But in this particular video, I actually just connected to whatever was the best connection available to me. So you can see I'm connected to the United States and I'm still getting, you know, much, much higher download speeds than I was originally. So let's uh, fast forward here a little bit and you can see now it's up to 27, 28, mid 20s, low 20s, upper 20s, near 30. So you can see it works. If you want to get faster download speeds in Microsoft Flight Simulator, use a VPN. And pe there's plenty of people are going to tell you it doesn't work it works. One other thing to check if you're getting really slow download speeds, come down to your search bar, type CMD Charlie Mike Delta, and then click here on run as administrator and type the following. You type N-E-T-S-H space I-N-T space T-C-P show global. And what you're looking for is receive window auto tuning level and it should be normal. If it is not normal, what you want to type is the following. And I'll put this in the description below as well. You just want to type that and it's going to change that setting. If this, if the setting is not normal, it will be set to disabled. You just want to change that to normal. And what that does, it manages, it allows windows to dynamically manage how the packages are downloaded as opposed to statically manage how they're downloaded. Once you change this setting, you may have to restart your computer to get that to take effect. Once you do that, you should get much better speeds. This is a change that came along in Windows 10 and Windows now Windows 11. It's a Windows setting. It's not some sort of weird thing that you're doing. It's just changing a Windows setting. The only thing to think about in connection with this, the only problem you might have if you have it disabled and you change it to normal, if you have a really old wi-fi router or an old firewall or something like that that may cause issues i'm talking like more than let's say you know seven to eight years old if you've got newer equipment windows 10 windows 11 you should be good to go that's the next thing to change but really i think for most people but really i think for most people just using a vpn is going to make things very very simple to do and it's going to make a difference in your download speed so Got about an hour and a half to go. I'm getting ready by switching over all my stuff from my, my Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 stuff from my C drive to my D drive. Clear up some space on my C drive for 2024. Hope you guys are doing well, and I hope you're as excited as I am, and we'll talk soon.